Look at this new camera. Am I in a movie? Am I? What happened? What is going on? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Sula. I'm the founder and CEO of Living Opera. Norman's peeling something or cutting something up. I don't know what he's doing. He's not in this video. It doesn't even matter. Uh, I got a new camera. Can you tell? Wow. So clear, so crisp. So as our business recovers from just this really delightful experience we've had the last um, year and a half or so, uh, I feel very sassy today. We taught a vocal master class online. We call it the Vocal Lab. And we had a lot of fun. And I thought, you know what? Uh, YouTube needs to know what we talked about because it's gonna help them as well. As things kind of get moving again in the opera industry, we are going on auditions, we are performing, we're doing recordings. When I say we, I mean we, like, like you and me, us, all of us, we, the global, we singers. And we have been having this discussion on how do you deal with disappointment and frustration when things just don't go your way. So this was part of our discussion today at our masterclass. And I thought YouTube needs to hear about this as well. YouTube, team, team. I can't talk. I'm not cutting it. It's just gonna stay in the video. So here are a few ways that we have dealt with disappointment in the past. I hope it'll help you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do it, do it. You know, we make tens of cents with every view of this video. <laughs> no, but honestly, we actually have been able to monetize this channel and I think we made like $50, which guess what? I'm like, we made $50. I'm thrilled and I, I am not being sarcastic for once. So dealing with disappointment, how do we manage disappointment? Um, I think all of you have been alive long enough to know we don't avoid disappointment, we manage it. So here are five ways that Norman and I have managed disappointment in the past. Let's go. I heard my light lighting looked weird, so I, I moved. Oh, what is it? Really? So, number one, you have to acknowledge it, okay? I don't do this well insofar as I acknowledge the crap out of it. I get mad, that's professional. Uh, Norman's like grabbing stuff on my desk while I'm filming. I uh, cry. Um, I just am more dramatic than you can imagine. Norman, on the other hand, what do you do? You're just like, you know, five months ago, I was mad about that thing. Yeah. Yeah. So neither one is really ideal. Although I suppose it's kind of, <laughs> as long as you acknowledge it in some way, I suppose that's good. But I think there's probably somewhere in there a healthy balance where maybe perhaps not a volcanic explosion, although maybe that works for you. For me, it just makes me tired. It makes me cry, which makes me tired also. And for Norman, he's trying to get better at communication. So we find that our way of dealing with this isn't necessarily the best, but so far this is how we've dealt with it. But acknowledging it is very important. So however you need to acknowledge it, you gotta be like, uh, my life isn't horrible and over and ruined. I am disappointed. So that, that's the start. So once you've acknowledged it, I think it's really important to find somebody that you trust and go up to them and be like, can I talk to you for a second? And they're like, yeah. And then you say, you know what? I'm really disappointed. This thing happened. Uh, you know, this audition didn't work out. This person broke up with me. Um, my family member is having an issue or whatever. And you talk it out with them. Now, uh, this doesn't work for every situation, but for many situations, you can analyze what happened and that can be extremely helpful, especially if we're talking about something like an audition. So let's say I'm disappointed because of the outcome of an audition. I wasn't invited for an engagement. Well, maybe the preparation wasn't as airtight as it could have been. Maybe um, you started with an aria that, that maybe you shouldn't have started with. You know, there's just ways to learn from the outcome. And I think that that's extremely important. And then the fourth step is regroup and re-strategize on how to tackle um, future situations that could lead to disappointment. So it won't hit you as hard the next time. This is also a chance to learn humility and build up perseverance. So you won't be kind of blindsided the next time. Maybe there's, there's a rejection letter in the mail or maybe 
you get into an argument with a family member or just, just something that leads to that disappointment. And something that we spoke about today in our masterclass is that oftentimes disappointment is because of unmanaged or unmet expectations and these are things as singers that we really need to analyze because we need to know did I expect like a realistic outcome or was I just hoping for something or hoping for the best I I'm I believe we need to hope for the best for for everything but sometimes that will lead us down a path where our expectations perhaps get in um, like inflated beyond what's maybe possible and then we can really be let down by that and I realize it's a little bit general but hey this is the internet I don't know you Norm says that was too sassy. That's okay. Um, we're good, right? We're good. So finally, number five is after you've acknowledged it, talked about it, analyzed it, regrouped, re-strategized, you gotta move on. <laughs> you gotta move on. It's really hard, especially if like you're a little bit, maybe like a little bit petty or um, you haven't gotten a satisfying outcome or maybe somebody, like maybe you really are due an apology, for example, and you're just not gonna get it. It's like, all right. Now what do I do? We have to move on. So whatever it is that can help you close that door, do it, do it. If it's maybe uh, muting somebody on social media for a little while, if it's writing a letter, if it's you know uh, throwing out that aria from your audition package or I don't know what, uh, just try your best to move on from that experience because the truth is that you live in the present. So every time we revisit an old experience, you're, you're just kind of like looking over your shoulder and that's not, that's not, I mean, the consequences from whatever that experience are, are perhaps still your reality today, but that experience is like way back there. So we don't want to keep dragging out stuff from back here when we're living in the present. So that's just food for thought for today. If you are not following us on social media, please do that. There's so much content, especially on Instagram. That's mostly where our uh, Living Opera family lives. We urge you, urge you to connect with us there uh, at this handle. This is my handle. And look how I'm pointing. This is so weird when you're filming because it's like, I'm gonna put this in later. What? Norman is here. And uh, announcement, we are intending to make a living opera Instagram that will have even more content, even more information, and it will be a chance for you to contribute to the platform. And we're really looking forward to that. It's just a lot to manage, a lot to put together. Uh, thank you so much to our featured community members for being just that visual part of the platform. If you would like to become a featured community member, come to our website, www.livingopera.org and just submit your photo and your statement about Living Opera and we'll just put you right up there. Uh, until then, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you. I hope that it gives you some real techniques to deal with disappointment, frustration, and some of the bumps along the road when you're building your career as a professional singer. Norman and I, um, I know it sounds cheesy, uh, but we are rooting for you. We, our dream is to have our living opera inbox filled with different reports, wonderful reports of all the career success you're having, family success, uh, um, you know, what you've learned. We just wanna hear about how your life has changed for the better. And we're truly committed to that. And that's why we do this. It's not just for the $50 that we earned here on YouTube, although it's like pretty sweet. Uh, it really is about your life. And I am grateful that you're here. Norman is grateful that you're here, but he's just taking a break right now. What? Ooh. You're grateful too? I'm grateful too. Better be. So that's all for us today. Hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and thank you for being here. Bye.